Hey guys, how you doing today? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my render settings and my export settings in Final Cut Pro. Now I'm not gonna be doing any editing sort of tutorials in this. I'll probably do some basic editing tutorials sometime in the future. But for now we're just gonna stick to the basics of creating a project, rendering it, and also exporting it. Now the first thing you wanna do if you're new to Final Cut Pro is you obviously wanna go ahead and start a new event. So we'll, so we'll just name it My Videos. And then since I usually I usually record in 1080 or not 1080 720p on my Elgato, I usually just render it in 720. But other than that, if I'm not using my Elgato, I just stick to 1080p. That's really just personal preference. And also be aware that if you're gonna render in 1080p and export in 1080p, the file size is gonna be much bigger. So that's something you want to be aware of. And I usually just export in 60 fps just because youtube now supports 60 fps but you can use 30 if you want that's really just up to you okay so now you have your project or night project you have your event now you want to go ahead and create a new project in this actually you can just go ahead and rename it because it'll be the same render settings so we'll just name it my test one okay now you have your project all set up you all you have all your render settings up so now let's just go ahead and drag a random clip in here. Uh, let's see what I can find in here. Just anything random, just for the video's sake. Okay, so you have your clip in there, and I'm actually going to go ahead and trim this off just because I'm going to export it and show you guys what the file size is going to be exactly for just like a 10 second video. Okay, 1025, perfect. All right, and so now you have your clip in there, and you can go ahead and drag some background music if you want to, but you also want to be aware of copyright issues on YouTube. So you do not want to drag anything, any type of song that is copyrighted by another artist or another company or whatever. You do not want to drag that and upload it into YouTube because you'll probably get some copyright issues and that's definitely not good for your account, so you don't want to do that. Okay, so hypothetically, let's say your clip's all done, you have it all edited. Oh yeah, a little side note thing you want to do too is when you're editing, you want to have you always want to have this on best performance just just so it doesn't make your software lag. It will, if you have this in better quality and you try to edit it, then your computer is going to be really slow. So if you're editing, always have this on better performance. And if you want to see what the clip looks like if it's paused at full screen, then you hit better quality. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and export this. Now there's two ways to do that. You can just go to share here or go over here. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and export this. So you can put a title on it, whatever, put a description. And your settings, okay, this is the important part right here. You See these other codecs right here? You always want to use this one right here, H.2.64. You always want to use that. It doesn't matter what type of video you're using. You never want to choose any of these because as you can see right here, this file size is 49.5 megabytes, which seems about right for like a 10 second video. And if you see, you'll go to ProRes 422. As you see, that boosted up to 391 megabytes. So let's go to the highest one, see what that is. Yeah, see, 1.3 gigabytes. So that's something you always want to be aware of. You always want to export it in H.2.64 just because it's a standard codec and your video will still have really good quality. And another side note to take too is that you see how it's 49.5 megabytes. It's not going to even, when you actually export the video and you you see the statistics on the export video on the desktop or whatever, the the file size is not even going to be half of what it says. I'm not sure exactly why Final Cut does that or why it's like that, but your actual file size when you export it is not even going to be half of what it actually says because I know I downloaded or I exported a, about an eight minute clip that was about 2.31 gigabytes, but when I actually exported it and looked at the file size, it was actually 350 something megabytes. 
So that's something you want to be aware of too. So that's something you don't really need to worry about. So if you have like a five minute video that says like over a gigabyte just for a five minute video, it's not actually going to be that. It's going to be less than half of what that actually is. So it's something, something you want to take a note on, something you just want to remember, keep in your head. And we're going to go ahead and export this and I'll show you guys what the file size is. Alright guys, I now, the, the video just finished exporting, so as you can see, the video, it's 15.3 megabytes, so it's not even close to what it said on Final Cut. I'm not sure why Final Cut Pro does that, I don't know, just don't ask me, but yeah, that's a good relief though, to know that you're when you actually export your video, it's not going to even be half the size of what it actually says. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial.